to take your seat. Sam, there I say, West Ham, Leicester City. What a game. Mm. Sam, mate. Mm. Three points here. Correctly predicting the 3 2 scoreline. So, Sam, I'm coming over to you because you. obviously you yeah, knew man. something that we didn't know. Yeah. Sam, I'll take this, right? I'll take this one all day. Because I had this, I had the even the way the game went, I saw it. You know where? Because West Ham have done this for the last two or three games in a row where they've gone mm -hmm. out, blitzed teams in the first half, scored the goals. And then it's like a case of as soon as that goal goes in, it's like, oh my God, we're going to have to hang on. They did exactly that. The one surprising thing was they did that without Declan Rice and Antonio in the yeah, starting 11. Yeah, true. That I was agree. a surprise because I didn't realise that both of them mans were out. I was like, oh, mm. God. But I knew that the way they were going to play. And obviously, Jesse Lingard, as Darius was touching on before, yeah, he's, he's suddenly got confidence now. He's, he's always been a player, but he had a lot of personal issues as well at Man United. Obviously, you know, not being in a team in and out, he's not going to be guaranteed star at Man United. I think just having that confidence of knowing he's one of the first names on the team sheet, that's just said the man. Yeah, and he's one of them players as well. He plays with confidence. You can see he's got a bit of swag about him. He loves to bust a little dance when he scores and all that sort of thing is confidence. And when you just build that man up with confidence, he'll do bits like how he's done. So it's yeah. no surprise. And the, the match itself panned out exactly what I saw. I thought it was going to be like frenetic and all the rest of it. And yeah, high scoring, 3-2. And that's could three it, points on the board for me. Could have equalised at the end as well. Could have, Leicester true. could have equalised at the end. Yeah. Yeah, which mm -hmm. was a mad one. Uh, I know Darius has got a few things to say and he wants to kind of put a little a spotlight on Lingard. So I'm going to come to you, Alex, and then uh, and then I'm going to take it to Darius. Yeah. Nah, nah, listen, um, I can't not put a spotlight on Lingard also, man. It's Shine just, it, man. It's, Shine not, it. it's, not, it's not even because um, he's a United player, but as, as you just said... Um, He's had his issues, you know, at United not being in the team. And he's also had issues um, off the pitch as well, you know, in terms of his family. And like someone like him, no matter who you are, you, you, you like to see him enjoying his football. You know, he's a positive guy. And, um, you know, when he plays well, he does feed off, off the confidence and, and he continues. And him, him being himself is, is helping West Ham, like, big time. You know, if he's not scoring the goals, he's playing some part. Don't in the goals, you know, and he's, he's literally unstoppable. And right now, it's, it's just hard to to bet against West Ham losing any game. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the only thing is, even if, you know, they, they do have to sort out the, the defence, you know, issues, you know, um, especially in the in the last about 10 minutes of, of, of the games, they do intend to, to sort of leak, leak goals. Um, yeah, Declan Rice is a huge miss, but... Um, it's something they definitely need to look at going forwards. Um, yeah, Leicester. I, I don't know what's going on. It, 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 it's same like a repetition always. of it's just the same as always. Um, and um, one of you guys did mention maybe you know is burn burning out it possibly, but I don't know, man. They're, they're footballers, you know, they should be used to playing thirty eight games plus plus a season. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's confidence as well. Maybe it's, it's overwhelming. I have no idea, but it's not a good look. And I don't think they're going to finish in a, in the top four. I really don't. Um, yeah, yeah, John Vardy's not scoring goals. I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, they kind of remind me of the snow pier. So it just looks like they've just kind of run into too much snow and they're kind of... Yeah. Before, yeah. before <laughs> I bring you in, Darius, I just wanted to say that for me, it was always a case of Lingard and Deli Ali were similar type players. And I used to always kind of flip between the two. Who's better, Deli or Lingard? Think so. And I think, and I think it, that was also what was going on in the England side. I think they were both kind of fighting for that number 10 kind of spot. Mm. I used to think, and I think if you look at both of their seasons or their last couple of seasons, they've been going through the same thing. It hasn't mm -hmm. been going great at their club. And we see that one man that's been able to kind of 
fight through the adversity and has come back and now we're wax lyrical about him. And the other one that's just allowed the adversities or the kind of barren patch to kind of really just impact his game so much so that as a Spurs fan, we don't even ask to see Deli Ali. I don't even know if he was on the bench today. I don't know. I mean, he's growing. He's growing. He's growing. He's growing a mustache. So that's that's. He's got that yeah, guy. And he's got that boohoo contract he's as well. Yeah, he's, uh, I think he's got that guy. Got photo, sh- photo shoot lined up with boohoo next week. That's yeah, about it. Like that. So listen. <laughs> Jesse you know. Lingard does the same sort of thing. Jesse Lingard likes to be all over social media, all the rest. The difference 100%. for me, the difference for me is Deli Ali is, in my opinion, is more of a soaker. Where if he doesn't get his own way, he seems to soak. Jesse Lingard, you didn't hear nothing from him when he went in that's, the team, and you didn't hear nah. nothing. From him. He just done his thing. No, I didn't even know about his personal issues. And that's the sort of thing when you're a professional player, you should be able to be professional. So if you're not in the team, don't go soaking about it, telling people this and that, and just showing it on the pitch when you come on. Show what you can do when you come on. So he does that consistently for West Ham. So I've got to give him props for that. Deli Ali, man, unless he changes his attitude, I don't think he's got a future at Spurs, personally. Yeah, mm-hmm. There is. Look, I don't know about you guys, but Jesse Lingard has to be on that plane for me. I, I think I think Jesse Lingard is a perfect example of a player who doesn't need somebody to get on his back. Somebody just needs somebody to put his arm around him and say, you are good enough, bro, just... Go out and do your thing, and it's as simple as that. He's he's like you said, Deji. He's he's Garrett kind of being told you're the you're the main guy. You're gonna start now, and he's like, yo, let me do my thing, and I can show you what I can do. And he's doing it. And can I just say, in nine Premier League games, the guy's got eight goals and three assists. That is it's crazy, ridiculous. Man. Jesse Lingard, dude, crazy, we were man. we were clowning, or, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be one of these guys in it who says that I wasn't memeing the hell out of Jesse Jesse Lingard when he didn't get a goal or assist in a year. I was on that. I was taking a mick, but my god. Jesse Lingard, Lionel Jesse, Messi Lingard, whatever you want to call him, man. Lingard, he, he's, he's proven himself. And like, I've, in my opinion, he has to go. He has to go to uh, the Euros over Madison at the moment because he's proven himself. He's, he's, and the thing is, he actually played well for England in this recent uh, international break as well. So yeah, for me, yeah, yeah. Sh- like, just big up Jesse Lingard, innit? I, I just, I'm so happy for the guy. I can't, he's one player that I couldn't be ha- more happy for because he's one of those guys, like you said, I, d- I know, Alex, you're a Man United fan. I didn't really know much about the personal stuff either. I don't know how bad it got for him at Man United. Mm. So to see him just enjoying his ball, just doing his thing and, and just enjoying it, it just, it's, it's, it's nice to see, innit? It's just nice to see a guy, 100%. you know what I mean, who you could tell he just wasn't enjoying life and just wasn't really enjoying his mm. ball, just enjoying right life. Dog. So. Big up Jesse Lingard. That's all I like to say for that one. That's just Jesse Lingard. If you're watching the show, which we know you are, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, look, I, I want us to, to really, because of time as well, we really want to skip. Time to take your seat. You'll never be the same.